Hi, Mr. Jones here from Waka Middle School Orchestras. I wanted to walk you through your first assignment, which is to make a Flipgrid introduction video. So we want to make sure you know how to use the software and make sure there's no issues with your camera, or your sound, so that we can hear you play and even hear you talk. And um, uh, so I'll walk you through it. So the best way is through Teams. I've got an icon here. Of course, if you can't find Teams, click on the window and type in T E A. There it is. Of course, it'll be in your OneNote as well. And once you've got this link, and if you want to send it to your, if you have another device that records a little bit better sound, it's if when we're doing playing examples, it might be a good idea to try and share this to a phone. But of course, your school device will work just fine. And it's in fact, the sound quality has gotten better since Flipgrid has um, improved their sound too. So um, send it to your phone if you need to, or if you want to do it on your computer, that's fine. So inside of Teams, of course, you have to make sure you're in the right team, sixth grade orchestra for this example, and then go into class notebook. Is that a little bit higher there? Oops, class notebook right there. Oh, too hard. Oh, no, Mr. Jones. Okay, and if it's blank, because there might not be something on the first page that it opens up to, that little arrow on the side there opens up all the sections. And I'll be storing most of my information in the content library. And I have a little folder called student task. Your teacher might have it stored somewhere else or they might have given you an email. Either way, um, here's my tasks. Task zero was the student information form. Hopefully you got that done. If not, there's still time. So task number one is the Flipgrid introduction. And when you go to this page, it'll have the tutorial video that I'm making right now. And then this link to go to the Flipgrid will tell you what you're gonna do. Those instructions will be on the Flipgrid as well. You can click this join with Microsoft or this link here, either one. And it's been loading up for me when you click on your school account, type in your password if you have to. Um, and it's saying login successful. And then, oops, I gotta make another squeak here, sorry. Over here, you have to hit refresh. For some reason, this has happened for me a few times in a row trying to make this video. And I'll make some more squeaks, sorry. Look at the puppy. Okay. And. Once you're in, after you've hit refresh, uh, also control R will do that too. You can see what it is. Oh, and you can spot our spelling mistake. That should be fixed by the time you see this. Um, your full name, your school, your instrument, you'll just say these things just to test your microphone and to say hello. Um, record a response. This is the button here or this big circle does the same thing. And of course, look at the beautiful puppy and relax. Take some deep breaths. Record a response. And it says you have 30 seconds to record. It says this topic is moderated. That means the teacher will be the only person that can see it. Unless you want to make it public for the rest of your classmates, which we can do. But on this one, we'll probably just keep them all private. Um, and then click anywhere to dismiss. And it's got me set up here with my camera recording away. There's effects you can put like funny things on here and stuff. And filters. I, I'm sure you'll enjoy exploring all that and options in case you have to look up something. Uh, nothing, nothing you'll need there. This button up here though is a good one to know. It says show topic, which brings up our dog friend again, and the instructions. So you can slide that off to the side when you're recording. Okay, so when you're ready to record, once you've said, okay, I got all those things ready to go in my head, you might even need to take some notes. This button here called stickies lets you put a sticky on the screen if you wanna type some words for yourself to remember, if you forget your name sometimes like I do. So here I go, I think I'm ready. Record, it says three, two, one, and. Um, hi, my name's David Jones. Um, my school is uh, Whatcom Middle School. My instrument is the cello. And my favorite food treat or something else interesting. Um, I like pizza. So, yeah. You can hit pause here or hit next to go to the next step. Um, hi, my name is David Jones. Um, okay, so they want you to look through it, make sure it's good. You can go all the way through and see what you like and redo it if you want to. But hey, usually your first take is just fine. We kind of obsess about it. So let's get it done and click next to see what's next. And it says snap a selfie. Okay, let's take a selfie. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, next. And it's uploading my video. You can put a link to any information you want to share any documents you might have attached to it or recordings or anything else and some information you might need to add and then hit submit. Give it a second and it says, okay, you're successful. And there's, here's a few things. It has a, uh, a link. If you right click and hit, hit copy link address, then you can save that somewhere. 
you could make a you could um, put it in your notebook somewhere else or save them in another document somewhere or you could download a QR code which is also a way to share the address you can download the video and actually have the video on your computer if you like it but be careful not to download too many because they do get really big really fast you can download your picture if you like it. I think I kind of like that one so download the image I do like that selfie all right and then when you're done say complete and you're kicked back to the page and it says your video submitted it will be hidden until approved by your educator so um, because they're moderated that's how they work so Flipgrid introduction video. Thanks.